Jermaine Griggs here from automationclinic.com. And if you want to know the four ways to generate traffic, what I call the four Bs and the only four ways, tune in to today's Automation Monday. Jermaine Griggs here, and welcome to another edition of Automation Mondays, where every single week I take an issue, a question related to marketing, lead generation, sales conversion, systems, funnels, automation, and everything in between, and I tackle it. We go to my whiteboard, and we just talk. We have a conversation about a new issue each and every week. And in this episode, I want to talk about getting traffic. And more specifically, what I call the four B's of traffic generation. Now, I want to give credit where credit is due to my good friend, Daryl Urbanski, who gave me the first three. And then I kind of took it and we kind of debated. And I said, well, I want to add a fourth to it. And if you don't mind, I want to actually cover this on my Automation Mondays. And he was so uh, gracious to allow me to do so. Uh, you can find an interview that I did on Daryl's podcast at the blog at Automation Clinic. You can find all past episodes of this show at AutomationMonday.com. And ultimately, you can find Daryl over at BestBusinessCoach.ca. So let's talk about uh, these four Bs, right? And these are the only four Bs, by the way, to get traffic. So at the top, I'm going to write traffic, right? And in the world of online marketing, you've got traffic and you've got conversion. And there's like a chicken and egg relationship. So that's another thing that I'll write. You've got traffic and you've got conversion. Now, and it's like this chicken and egg relationship. I'll briefly tell you what they mean. Conversion is basically what you do to convert prospects into buyers. All the things that go into doing that whether putting out sales tools, sales videos, webinars, getting people on your follow-up list. It's all of the things we can kind of combine together uh, to convert people into paid buyers, right? Traffic is basically getting the people, getting the attention of of the people. And that's what we're going to turn to today. And we're going to turn to the four Bs, right? So, Jermaine, what's the first way? to get traffic. The first way to get traffic is you can build it, right? Now, how do you do that? This is the slowest way, and this is what we call doing it organically, right? And you do that by giving value. If you've seen past videos of mine, uh, people ask me, how do you build your list? You build your list by giving away great content, great value. People will in turn give you their email address, their information, in exchange for your value, and they'll tell other people. So you do things like blog, right? If you got something to say, put your knowledge, as I've said in past episodes, in a leverageable form, and a blog is a great way to do that. You don't have to blog every day, but you give yourself a goal. Maybe you blog once a week to start, and maybe the thoughts keep coming to you, because one thing I found Especially, I'm a great writer. I've been published by my university. I won a contest in my freshman year where I really started cultivating uh, that skill. And one thing I've noticed is once the engine is on, the brain, the mind, ideas just start pouring in. So even right now, if you're like, what do I write about? Or maybe you have this finite list. Trust me, as you actually get into it and you start writing more about your topic, your subject, and then you start attracting the attention of other people, they will naturally ask questions that lead you to more content. And you'll just be out and there's something about, you know, I don't want to get too deep, but the reticular activating system, it's kind of like when you show interest in a car that you either own or want to buy And now all of a sudden you start seeing that car uh, on the road. But before that, I mean, you didn't never notice it. It's because the brain, you have to tell it what to pay attention to. And because the brain is getting just so much sensory in the run of a day, right? The things that we actually remember and pay attention to is just a small fraction 
of all of the things the brain's picking up subconsciously. So the reticular activating system, when you start writing things, it will start attracting other things. And that's how you'll start to build traffic. You'll have to build it. And you'll post it on social media. You've got your Facebook over here. Then you'll, uh, you'll duplicate it on Twitter. And you'll you know, have this kind of thing connected together. And if you want, you can then start a podcast. And some people will just read their blog posts or maybe give some extra insight or commentary in an audio form. Or if you can do what I'm doing here and get it in the video form, I think video is probably the most optimal because what can I do from video? I can extract the audio, and that's what we're doing here. I can take just the audio, and it can become my podcast, right? I can dump that on iTunes and all of the other podcast directories. And then YouTube, you upload it to YouTube, and YouTube does closed captioning. And this was something I discovered, and it's pretty accurate. Let's just say 80% accurate. And YouTube is transcribing with its voice recognition software. It's transcribing your video and allowing you to download it as like a, a, a file. That file can be open. And then from there, right, you've got your transcripts of your video, which can then be sort of turned into a blog post. So that's why I like video. Video is like at the top. And from there, you can extract audio. You can even extract text, which can give you articles and blog posts and things you can put on Facebook, little insights. You can then take certain quotes from your video that you know, like sound good. You have that moment of inspiration. And you can turn that into like little quote photos with like nice, relevant photos with your quote. And then that can go on your social media. So my point is in the first B, you just have to build it. You have to get in motion. Newton taught us already that when something's in motion, it will tend to stay in motion until sort of acted upon, interrupted by an outside force. And that will be you, especially if you were like me in the beginning. You probably heard my story where I didn't have much money. I started with $70 and a prayer and a vision to change the way the world would learn music at my website here in play.com. I registered it in the year 2000, August 6th to be exact. And in this world, you got time or money. And I didn't have money, so I had time. And the build it sort of method uh, is really uh, related to time because you, know, you may not have the money to do one of the other Bs that I'll cover in the future. But if you have the time, then you can build it organically. So that's the first way to get traffic is you build it. The second way to get traffic is you can borrow it. What do you mean by borrow it, Jermaine? Well, there are other people out there who have done the work to build up their audiences. Whether they've used all the four Bs or what have you, they've built up their audiences and they're influencers and they have an audience that like, know, and trust them. And you can borrow that influence from them. Now, how do you borrow traffic? Well, you've got to, again, have value. And you have to remember that everyone's tuned in to their own radio station, what's in it for me. So, you know, when it comes to going after someone else's traffic or getting them to promote you, you know, you can be a guest blogger for them, especially if they need great content and you've got great value. Uh, maybe this particular article I won't put on my own blog because we don't want problems with duplicate content. So you don't put it on your blog and then go offer to put it on theirs. You're sacrificing it for yourself, but you're giving it to them. It's giving them, you know, a relatively pain-free way to give value to their audience because they don't have to do it. You've done it. And in exchange for that, you can make a very soft offer for whatever your free lead magnet is. You know, for a free ebook on the seven steps to XYZ, head over to my blog, you know, something like that. And that's how you can borrow it. You be, can become a guest on their podcast. Uh, I do that a lot. You know, I'll do a few podcasts a month where I'll come on to someone who already has an existing audience and I'll give immense value. And there's always an opportunity to give my domain name what I do and make a soft offer. Head over to automationvideos.com or head over to automationmondays.com for more of you know, what I've talked about here and how to create systems and automation or whatever my offer is going to be there, right? And you can get them to promote for you. If you have a product that's 
converting well, right? And, uh, and, and you built a relationship with them. Going to events is a great way to do that. You know, you can email someone and it'll go to their gatekeepers and fall on deaf's ear, ears. But if you go to an event and you spend time with people and maybe you have dinner with them or lunch and you build rapport and they just like you, people will help you, especially if you have the value part. And you just need a little push in the right direction. So you can build it, but while you're building it, look for opportunities where you can borrow traffic. The third way to do it, and one of my favorites, is you can buy traffic, right? I love this part. Like I said, we spend thousands of dollars per day on Facebook alone, not including you know, Google AdWords, YouTube, some of our you know, sort of links and banners that we have on various websites. But if you can put yourself in a position to buy traffic profitably, then you will win. I always say this, you don't have a real business. Now, there are some exceptions, you know, people that have really big authority sites that are organically track, attract tons and tons of visitors, exception. But for the most part, if you can't go out to the marketplace and spend money to acquire a customer, then you don't have a real scalable business, right? But if you can go and buy traffic, get them to an offer, right? Traffic conversion to an offer that converts while you build your list for free, something I've talked about in past Automation Monday. So uh, go to automationmondays.com, look for a video called It's a Numbers Game. And I kind of break down that process. But ultimately, if you figure out how to convert that paid traffic, what happens is you build your list for free and you look up and a year later, you've got 50,000 people on your list that if you're like me, you've been reporting all along and, and you're not surprised by it. But a lot of people wake up and they say, wow, my global database has grown. Um, but it was as a function of buying traffic for typically an offer with some kind of paid product on the end. But it goes traffic, so Facebook, then Give me your email address in exchange for an ebook, a video series I've put together, a webinar that you can get on right now or starting in the next couple of days, uh, or some type of lead magnet like that, or event or something. And then there is an offer. And you know, hopefully you sell enough here in the offer, either immediately or via follow-up, that it washes all of that expense away. And then the people that actually gave you their email address, because most will not buy. I talk about that in my past videos. You know, if you've got 2% buying, you've got 98% not buying, and they're on your list. So that's another way to get traffic, build your list, is you buy it. And then the final way is that you, you can barter it, right? The difference in this one is the borrowing you know, it could be argued that there you're asking either for a favor or it's the other way around. And because you're a guest interviewee, you're on their podcast, I mean, you're helping to give value to their audience. And uh, but here you've used the other three ways. You built your traffic, you know, by giving value and, and building your blog and building all of your sources and your media platforms, your social media. You built it. You put in the blood, sweat and tears you borrowed it at times, you know, to build some momentum. You've even gotten good at buying it. You've got that in motion with the various uh, paid traffic sources out there like Facebook and Google AdWords and such. Well, now that puts you in a position to trade with folks. Hey, you know, I'll send your offer out this month and, and then, you know, you re uh, reciprocate and next month you send mine out or vice versa. And you'll find a lot of people doing JV ventures, you know, joint ventures, not JV ventures, joint ventures or JVs, because I've got something to bring to the table, uh, but you've also got something to bring to the table sort of when it's my turn. Um, I like that one. To be honest, I don't use that one as much. I'm like one for autonomy. So uh, I haven't always liked the idea of I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Uh, I like the idea of building it myself, first of all. I like the idea of buying it, uh, probably if I was going to rank this. Then I'd go and, and borrow it. If I've got great value, I hate for people to see it as a favor. No, give great value 
and have them see that, wow, my list will love this. My audience will absolutely adore this. Uh, and it's something they want to do. In exchange, I get you know, the, the influence and the reach. And then lastly, barter. Right? So the four ways to generate traffic. And I would argue there's nothing beyond these four ways. Put your focus, at least on the traffic side. Now, the conversion is a whole nother beast. I've got several videos for you. I've got courses that focus on this. Um, but it's like this chicken and egg relationship because if you go for all the traffic and you, you try to you know, borrow and buy, but you don't have a converting offer, uh, well, that's not going to work very well. and You're not going to be able to scale because you're not bringing in money because you're not converting. But then you don't want to put all your focus on conversion. I've seen a lot of people where they're just so conversion-centric, but with 100 visitors. First of all, you don't know if what you're coming to conclusions about is statistically significant because there's only 100 eyeballs hitting it. You know, We've learned law of averages. As more people see it, that's how you really know if you've got a working piece or not. Even with Facebook, the first 100 people, yeah, you can get two, three, four buyers. And then the next 500 people, you don't get anything at all. So you'll know the truer your numbers, the more traffic you have. And so this is like a chicken or egg relationship. But at least for the traffic side, here are the four ways to do it. Build it. You can borrow it. You can buy it. And you can barter it. So Jermaine Griggs signing off. Automation Mondays. Go to automationmondays.com. And on behalf of Automation Clinic, Remember, let your business run itself. See you.